most of the players on this court tonight have never stepped on this court. From way outside, just Conference USA. Wow. He can shoot the three, he can dunk it. Wearing that number. Nearly picked up an assist. Offensive rebound, muscling it back up. Was From the left, and Susan, Chris Budden with us at the Garden as well. The first of two tonight here at the world's most famous arena. Mississippi State and Penn State in the other semifinal. And there, finally, the game's first points. The Kansas transfer, Dwight Colby, who has a grad transfer. Because it's a shorter three than the shot that's out top or in the slots. A turnover. Here's Johnson. Leans in and throws it down. Ten already for Justin Johnson. That, you got Johnson out top versus the 5'8 point guard. With the left hand, nice finish from Tyler Roth. Get the feeling Utah's had some point blank shots, haven't gone down. Bearden. Yes. Tillman around Johnson. Seattle Seahawks, now an offensive lineman. The depth of knowledge oh. that you bring. You're a Renaissance <laughs> man. Ten to shoot. Collette with a shot fake and a conversion over the top of Jun. You and I are two sports junkies. Eight to go in the quarter. From way outside, trying to beat the first quarter buzzer. Colby in the post. Bearden lines up from the corner. Knocks down a three as Bibbins at the other end. Here comes Bearfield. Kicks it to Bibbins. That one goes down perfectly. This is a little different style, a little more up tempo. Colette, across the lane, yes. Get a chance to see the world, educate yourself, and play some basketball. Hollingsworth, in and out. And a nice wall off underneath by Donnie Tillman. Airfield, the trailer. Nice foul by Bibbins. Home, having a good career at Utah. Anderson lost it. Bibbins, the other way like lightning from coast to coast and he ties the game at 18-5 Western Kentucky lead that's gone as Utah has deadlocked this game a little bit short for Jake Homer yeah but I like the way Utah came with that double team quickly on Johnson Fairfield connects and he Hollingsworth an NBA three that's good top was out of Lexington Kentucky Reverse by Donnie Tillman. Lost it on the drive. Bearded ahead of the field. Lays it in. Great pass ahead by just nice, nice seal inside by Colette. Like Utah, though, will have a lead at halftime. By how much? Fairfield can't hit. Offensive rebound, Rawson. Still plenty of time, but they turn it over. Here comes Bearden. He'll throw it down at the buzzer. Bearden spots up. He's got a three. Bibbins. They have to force one up. Three to shoot. Step back. Yes! You know, we saw him, Bob. He didn't get much playing time at Kansas, but he has really developed into a good low post score. Collette finds the cutter. Airfield with the shot fake. Rolls it home. Homer from the corner. Off the heel. Offensive rebound for Colby. Sets up Hollingsworth. And it pays off. Five to shoot. Collette has to go at Colby. And converts. Johnson faces up in the high post and no one gets a hand up. And Justin Johnson takes advantage. A lot of strategy involved. 
Johnson fades away. Yes. Colette catches it deep. Uses his size advantage and muscles it in. Anderson had no chance. He just walled up, but Colette broke through the wall. Anderson will drive it and lay it in at the end of the quarter. In this tournament, you have success when you have good players who want to keep playing. Rawson for three. Yes. Does that apply to broadcasting? Because of the shooting and the size inside for Western Kentucky, they've exclusively been in the zone. Three buried again. Hollingsworth. Yes, a floater along the baseline. <laughs> Thanks to Hank Nichols, a great official in his own right. Bibbins will attack. Back outside to Rawson. Buries a three. Utah's got the lead back. Out to give if they want to use it. There's a double. Johnson to Bearden. Bearden. Offensive foul. 14.9 to go. If I'm Western Kentucky, I think I'd go strong to the hoop. See if you can get a quick two and set your press up. And there's the foul to give. Smartly done by Bibbins. Instead, Johnson for three. Long rebound. It ends up with Fairfield. 5.5 to go. Took a while for Utah to miss a free throw. But it might be academic as Fairfield hits one of two to make it a five-point lead with five and a half seconds remaining. And all Harry Kraskoviak is telling his team is no fouls. Well, I would throw the home run ball now. See, I would have thrown it down the court, try to score quick, and he still have the timeout left. Johnson comes up short for three. Hollingsworth at the buzzer. And the largest lead of the game for Utah is the final. Five points.